Welcome back to Level the Playing Field. Today we're going to talk about something you might have seen on the ESPN ticker, scopes. What is a scope? Who needs a scope? What does that even mean? We're going to talk about all that. Please like and subscribe. Keep following for more sports medicine content. Let's get into it. So a lot of times you'll see on ESPN, you know, whatever sports network you look at, uh, people talk about, you know, an athlete injured their knee, injured their hip, their shoulder, and they needed a scope. And I get a lot of questions from patients like, what is a scope? What does that mean? So that's a short term for arthroscopy. All right. Arthroscopy refers to minimally invasive surgery. And the reason why it's called arthroscopy, that scope part, as you might think, is almost like a telescope, right? It's a camera. It's a camera. So what we're doing is taking a tiny little camera about the size of a pencil, right? And we're entering whatever joint we're talking about through tiny little incisions. And that lets us do our work minimally invasive. So a scope is not a scope is not a scope. A scope is really the tool that we use and then the surgery may vary based on what that person needs, okay? And so scopes are interesting things, right? Because if you think about your joints, like your knee joint, it's kind of a closed space. It's a closed space. So you may think, well, there's not a lot of room to just be putting a pencil sized object in this joint. How does this work? So most times when we're doing a scope on a joint, we're actually filling that joint with fluid to make it larger for us to work around and move around safely inside. And so a lot of times after a scope of any kind, like the knee or what have you, right? You'll actually have your knee feel more swollen after surgery. And patients will ask me, well, why is my knee so swollen? And that's because we had to actually fill your knee with fluid so that we could put the camera in and actually do any work. Right now we do everything we can to drain the fluid at the end, but you know, some of it hangs in there and it takes a few weeks in some cases, even months for that swelling to go completely away, but it, it does go away. So when we're doing a scope and arthroscopy or an arthroscopic surgery, we're filling that knee with sterile, usually saline, which is basically salt water uh, to make it big enough to move around in there safely. Now, like I said earlier, a scope is not a scope is not a scope, right? A lot of surgeries are done with arthroscopes or arthroscopic, but they're different in nature. So in the knee, again, we'll use that as an example, right? You'll see some people have meniscus surgery. That meniscus is like a shock pad inside of your knee and it gets torn in some cases. Sometimes it gets torn from playing sports. You have a, a quick injury, you get hit by somebody, you twist your knee the wrong way and that meniscus, that shock pad gets torn. Uh, some people tear their meniscus just from over the course of life. You know, it takes little injuries over the course of their day to day. And then one day is the final straw, it pops and then it's, it's gone, right? So it can be a quick injury. It can be an injury over time. Not every meniscus needs surgery, but sometimes they do, right? And frequently, really in most cases, if you're doing surgery for a meniscus, it's arthroscopic. So you're looking at two small holes, about a centimeter that go inside the joint, right? And we go in with the camera and we go in with small little tools, again, the size of a pencil or so, and we do our work. Now, sometimes that work entails just, you know, cleaning out rough edges, smoothing things out, taking inflammation out. Sometimes that work means going in and stitching things back together. And our technology has really gotten so good. We can do a lot of things in there, do those tiny little incisions. We can, we can stitch things all the way back together in ways you wouldn't imagine um, through these small little holes. So as you might imagine, right, if one person has a surgery where we don't do quite as much, we just have to clean out some stuff, right? Or if someone has a surgery, where we have to do a lot of stitching things back together. You know, there's gonna be a difference in how they feel afterwards. If I have to do a lot of stitching and basically like put your whole meniscus back together, you know, you're gonna feel that for longer and your recovery after surgery is gonna be longer too. And so that's why I say, you know, you two people might have two similar looking incisions, but have a completely different pathway. So I say that to patients so they understand that, you know, a, a scope has been talked about like it's some minimally invasive, easy thing. And while it is minimally invasive, every surgery is a big deal, right? And so you might have a long recovery. You might wear a brace and use crutches for weeks or even months, depending on what surgery was done. And then you take something like an ACL, you know, an ACL surgery is kind of like a hybrid situation. So in an ACL surgery, we're having to usually do the small incisions for the camera so we can look inside the joint and do our work. But usually we have to take tissue from elsewhere to make a new ACL. And so we end up having to make kind of a, a bigger incision for that part of things. But even with an ACL, once we do that part, 
we're having to drill new tunnels to make a new ACL and there's there's drilling, there's hammering going on all through those kind of mini incisions. Um, but that's also done arthroscopically. We're watching ourselves do the work through that tiny little camera. And then you look at other joints too. You see people have shoulder scopes, right? Arthroscopic surgery of the shoulder. A common one for that is the rotator cuff. The rotator cuff is kind of like a cable, goes over the top of your shoulder, kind of lets you lift it up. And it can be torn again for various reasons. It can be torn if you fall and dislocate your shoulder. It could be torn just kind of over time. People who maybe do a lot of manual lifting over time will get little injuries that build up. And then one day it'll just go, right? And suddenly they have trouble lifting their arm up. They have trouble sleeping. And so the same thing happens there. That's arthroscopic in most cases. We go in with tiny little holes. The camera goes in, the small pencil sized tools go into the joint. We fill it up with fluid so we can move around and then we fix what we need to fix, right? Same thing with the hip. We can do the same sort of thing in the hip. Hip arthroscopy is actually probably the fastest growing part of sports medicine. And uh, the hip is a little bit special in that it's probably the tightest joint you have, tightest big joint at least. So getting inside there can be a little bit more difficult. So when we're working on a hip doing an arthroscope to go in there and fix things that might be torn, frequently we have to actually pull on the hip joint, actually pull on the patient's leg to pull it slightly out of socket to be able to get inside. So as you might imagine, you know, that that is a, you know, uh, a big thing to do to somebody. Of course, they're asleep, but the recovery certainly adds time, right? So I want to kind of dispel this notion that uh, a scope is no big deal. A scope is no big deal. You just run through it and go about your business. Any surgery that you have is a big deal. Every surgery has risks. Things can happen to you even in the smallest surgery. Things like infection, things like all kinds of things can happen. So it's really important when you're kind of discussing any kind of surgery, should you be in that situation, that you discuss it in detail with your doctor, that you, you know, read up on it, learn about it, watch this channel, learn the details about what, what it entails so that you go in informed and knowledgeable, not thinking it's just a routine, this and that, because there's no such thing as a routine surgery. So just to review, a scope reverse to arthroscopic surgery. Arthroscopic surgery is when we take a small camera, work inside of a joint and do our work through minimally invasive means. But by no means does that mean that it's a small surgery. It just means it looks small on the outside. So I hope that gives you some more background and information about this commonly used term. Uh, now, now maybe when you see it, you'll have some more background to understand what they're talking about when they say someone has a scope. So keep on liking and subscribing and we'll see you next time.